Welcome back. A healthy, well-maintained lawn looks good and can make you the envy of the neighborhood. For many folks, like myself, their yards fall short. But have no fear. As our spring weather week continues, meteorologist Malachi Rogers tells us what's behind the science of a green yard. Best kept secret, or the best thing no one's ever heard about. Drew Jeffers is the horticulture agent and county coordinator with the Clemson Extension Services. He says if you want to have a great lawn, they are here to help. As horticulture agents, we actually help people with their lawn care services. So if you've got concerns, you're not really sure what's going on with your lawn, we can help you with that. We can provide technical support for, for free. Clemson University has extension offices in each of the state's 46 counties. Land grant universities were created. They were given land and money by the federal government and it was established to educate the common man. That has evolved from educating farmers to now educating and enriching the lives of the general public. The Clemson Home and Garden Information website is a comprehensive resource for home and garden questions. Our website, you can go on there and you can find all our non-biased fact sheets. Uh, it'll have references. We have lawn maintenance calendars. We have vegetable gardening guides. We have canning guides. We have all kinds of free information on there that you can get on there. Uh, it's a free resource. Spring is here and if you're looking to get rid of weeds in your yard and build a perfect lawn, the answer may be as simple as a bag of soil and a trip to your local Clemson Extension office. The Extension's website tells you how to collect your soil samples and where to send them. And for $6, you get a comprehensive soil report. The first thing we typically do, like almost like a doctor, we run some tests. We say, all right, we're going to do some soil tests. We might send your weeds off. We might have, might have someone like me look at your weeds to identify them actually physically and accurately identify what that actual problem is so that that way we can address it and we actually come up with literally a treatment plan for what you need to do. Drew says there are a few common problems that affect lawns, weeds, watering, and mowing. Your lawn report will identify weeds in your lawn and suggest which herbicides work best on those specific weeds. It's usually a very first topic that a lot of folks have is a lot of weeds uh, or they're very frustrated with, with something that's going on in their lawn. He says the most effective weed management strategy is to maintain a thick and healthy lawn. This prevents weeds from getting the sunlight they need to grow. When it comes to watering your lawn... I would say most of the common mistakes people make is they over fertilize their lawn or they over water. Okay. Typically, folks tend to overdo things. The rule is this, one inch of water per week is all you need. But typically, you want to cut, again, that maintain that more, no more than one third rule taken off. So if you're trying to maintain one inch, uh, two inches, you want to probably mow it three inches. So that way you're taking off only an inch. So through science and a little sweat, you can have and maintain the ideal lawn that you desire. Malachi Rogers, 7 News. For a list of Clemson Extension offices and the access to their free resources, we have a link for you on WSPA.com.